What's up lads and welcome to Star Trek New Horizons. We're playing as the Federation. Well, last time we integrated a vessel and I did rename our scientist to Triple Sports. Uh, hope you're enjoying your time in the series. Now we need to fix our economy as you can see it's not good. <laughs> oh damn, that's an understatement. Um, let's go over here. So by the looks of it I was hoping to get you into food. Which is actually not a bad idea actually I'm, I'm i'm i've been playing regular um regular star trek again or actually regular stellaris and i'm i'm kind of confused again with the district so i did make a few mistakes um with the last one like this commercial district is not providing us with jobs um we should actually just do that with uh, the fusion reactors the north star the entertainment system that is nice and then we have two commercial districts which don't do a thing uh, we're going to be using a fusion reactor there as well you are being colonized and you indeed have unemployment uh, I did make the agricultural districts which is just not doing anything so let's remove that and once again a fusion reactor we want to make sure that we don't have to do fusion reactors anytime soon as the as you as well and let's get you into food. Large scale fields. And with you as well. Let's just keep boosting large scale fields. Uh, we should actually start boosting with frontier hospitals. But we can't build that yet. We can once we upgrade it. We are going to do it. But after we get new buildings going. So that should help out with the economy a tiny bit. Research pack has been broken. Yeah, hopefully uh, during this episode we are able to integrate the Vulcans. We did do a low intensity thing with them. Uh, integration with the Vulcans will mean that we'll once again have rulers that are being pissed. It's... Um, well, it's something we can't help. So who are Everyone. you again? Oh, you're not doing well. You probably are going to be integrated by the, uh, I'd say the Ferengi, uh, but that's due to the DS9 where Mug, I think it's his name is Mug, is is there? He's amazing. I like him. Abandoned cargo pods. A discarded cargo pod was left by someone in the upper atmosphere of Eta Antilia too long ago. It has somehow escaped the notice of every other spacefaring species and decaying orbit means that it would have been lost to the gas giants crossing atmosphere within another few years. This is remarkable. We get a bit of money and we need it desperately. You have unemployment. So we're building up a lot of energy and I'd say we're, damn, we're not nearly done. I want to make sure that the fusion reactors is going to be... Um, Held dealt with. Yeah, dealt with that. That's what I wanted to say. So, let's boost the, the fleet. Let's build more ships. While we unpause and hopefully we'll get the Vulcans to join. So we can actually join with a new coalition. The Children of Tama. Um, okay, so the dominant Tamarian League appears to be based almost entirely of Elgromidon. Uh, referring mythological and historical people and events from its culture, which is weird. Our universal translators are unable to decipher the context behind their communications, and as such we require an extensive study to their culture in order to understand them. Which is, in my mind, this is not a priority, but I'm hoping it, once I remove this, will it be back? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I kind of don't want to have it sit in this corner forever. Ah, oh, damn it. Did I just lose a planet? Did I, did I lose a planet? I think I just did. Damn it! Ah <laughs> oh, man, seriously, 
No, actually, no, the planet is still here. What was I losing? I lost something over there. And we lost Davron. Because I'm an idiot and I didn't pay attention. Well, that's not first. Won't be the last time either. Um, survey has been completed. Let's say... Are we going to be keeping this? Let's say it's not a priority. I'm sorry. Uh, we simply don't have what it takes. Let's go on and explore for you some more. You have more buildings. No. So what I'm worried about with having the AI deal with some of these problems is they might not understand the buildings. Might, I'm saying. I'm, so to anyone who has been playing as a federation... And with the sector AI enabled, of course. How did they do? That is what I would like to know. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Also, uh, let me know anything in the comment section. It's been um, rather empty lately, and I don't like it. Oh, that is very interesting. I like that. This could actually be quite good. Uh, but we'll go with the tar blocker since it's cheapest. A coalition offered to the Ferengi by the Golden Kunko. That is interesting. That is really interesting. Didn't think they would go. Did they break with the Sorens? No, they are part of the coalition. Um, okay, I can't join that because I'm already in a coalition. And the only way to get rid of that is, of course, just making sure that all of the the members are integrated. I wonder how this uh, mod will do um, once the uh, the new DLC will come. Federations that would, I would say, it it gives amazing opportunity to the developers to make this into something amazing. There we go, new technology. We got the Luric phases. We can upgrade our ships yet again. Uh, sensor range and listening posts. I like that. Let's go take listening post because we can actually look at how the fleets are formed. Especially the um, the Romulans will have. They used to have that in the past. Um, stop. The Radian League into the coalition. Yes, yes, I would like that. Who who are they again? These guys. Yes, that would be quite interesting. Uh oh, who the hell are you? Dark like people. <laughs> we come in peace. There we go. So they are integrated. We get a good boost, of course, to our influence, which is a bloody shame because we did click away that one event. Uh, but this is quite nice to the integration. The Vulcans did something quite nice then. So we have a new coalition member making us a lot stronger. Uh, unfortunately, it would uh, appear that we will be heading towards. A war. Give the Batoch his due. With the Klingons. There is a... Whoa, look at this. There is a Klingon conflict going on. That is very interesting. I was not aware there was a thing. So Genesis, if you're watching, be, uh, be very careful. Interesting. They don't like us as much. We'll eventually have to, like, offer them... Nossican, you. Yes, you Nossican, go away. So, yeah, let's uh, unpause here. Uh, we need to upgrade our ships. Let's upgrade first, and then we will reinforce. Let's research that. That one is closed, we don't care about. He joined, we are aware of that. All of the jobs are being filled right now. We're still losing a... A free. Very unfortunate. Now, this planet is starting to be colonized. That means that we can actually do something with our star base again. And we're going to get a orbital museum. And that will even get us into a greater negative. <laughs> Ice water, however, has been fantastic. The Bolian and hey, they have left the coalition. Seriously, um... Wait, whom? Let's take a quick look here because I'm most likely just looking at the, the wrong direction. Um, 
um, the Golden Conqueror. Yeah, you are around here somewhere. Oh, where? I'm blind, guys. I'm sorry. There you go. I am yeah, absolutely blind. About your society. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got a great voice, man. Great voice. I like it. Uh, asteroid founder. Well, we should definitely be studying this. Um, situational logs. Did we lose anything? Did we have to do anything? We do not have border. Oh. Uh, we need to max out. Construction complete. Assign a ship. Over here. Uh, who's close? This is one. One of you. Go go here for a second. Um, excavate this. That is the one that I was just looking at, right? Yes. Let's say track on the map, and there you go. Yes, okay, so we're, we're actually sending in a scientist. Um, the fleet has grown to 2.1. Interesting, I like it. Um, we're making 43 now, we're losing food. Not a problem. It's something that we just have to uh, keep an open mind about. A Federation Council, let's review. And you're at 49, which is horrible. So, low is going to be 4. Then, I'm hoping this is 8, the medium one. So, last tick until the um, the Vulcans are integrated. And we'll have to, hopefully, well, I'm hoping they, they're the death planets that actually do not destroy my economy. That would be absolutely wonderful. So, we need another call, uh, another advisor here. Let's recruit one more. Let's do this guy and select him. And I'm going to be looking into my list. And that's going to be Genesis King. Yeah, my buddy. Hey, buddy. You're an advisor now. You have the smallest territory ever. But I'm sure you will grow it. So, Genesis King. Also, if you don't know Genesis King, he is a YouTuber. And he does a lot of great um, Stellaris contact. And uh, I'm sure he's... Uh, his link to the channel is uh, is is on my channel, so just go to my main page and go to Genesis, and uh, and give him a sub. He's 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 very close to a thousand. You could be the one. You could be the one to hop him over a thousand, and that's a that's a great number. That really is a great number. Also, something is weird with my voice lately. I, I think I might be getting a cold. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh my God, no. And there we go, we got translators are done, you hijackers of ships. Let's get rid of you. This all stuff. Maybe we should get more scientists. And just assist research on all of the planets. Um, after several days scanning the surface of the Cha Chaltok Va, uh, the source of Ryaton Pulse has been found. To be no more than a scientific office training program activated by mistake. By Captain David Wallace. David. Why? My, my, my name brother. Because I'm, my name is David as well. Maybe I should say hello and welcome to my channel. My name is David. Also known as Daily Fix. Which is David. Uh, here we go. Let's on pause. Mm. Let me do anything with this. <clears throat> Preserving the culture. How can we do this? Adopting any tradition. Emphasizing preservation. So it is a tradition. Any tradition. Diversity. So diversity. And other stuff. Okay. Tile blocker. More planetary specializations. I'd say we have to go into small tech. Eventually not having all of the um, strategic resources will harm you. And you do want to get all of them. And start building them up. Uh, this construction ship, he's been bored. Don't like that. 
Can I do anything about it? Um, yes, I can. There you go. Let's build that mine. So how are the Kardashians it's, looking? Uh, they are now... Okay, they, they are no longer just overwhelming. Well, it's overwhelmingly superior. Uh, food is negative 10. And we have some unemployment here. Let's boost you. Uh, this, will my, this might provide us... Yeah, there you go. With a... Not a job opportunity. So we'll wait until that's done. Uh, we still want to boost our fleet, so let's keep doing that. All of the stations are built. Anything we can do. We can upgrade our uh, space force. We will. Not right now. We will. War declaration. Be oh, damn it. I don't need this. I, I thought, no. You're gonna bet that we are going to war, right? Of course. Come on, please, please, someone vote no. I do not want them to go to war. Just before we integrate them. I want to go to war, sure. We can actually probably win. But I don't need it right now. Evading hostile. Okay. There is an asteroid approaching. This is a, uh, a difficult situation. So the starbase is now fighting an alien vessel who is... Here. Who the hell are you? What the hell is going on? Interesting. Population growth speed is quite nice. Um, what the hell is going on here? Because apparently we are losing. And let's send out the fleet. Because I'm not sure what's going on. But the station is not doing too well. Apparently. Oh, it's an asteroid. I'm a dum-dum. <laughs> Look at this massive ship. Who is this alien species? It is. They're just an asteroid. Let's go with the uh, the firepower, which actually should be doing more damage towards the asteroid as well. Look at how it's fighting. I like that. Oh. Uh, station is struggling. Will the fleet be in time? I don't know, no, because I can't see it. So how long will it take them? 30 days. Uh, is the fleet already into the system? Have uh, we got new technology? Uh, gamma radiant, dilithium, okay. Let's go with the mining station. No, actually no, we'll go with the spatial torpedoes. So the fleet is incoming. Oh, wow, you go for so fast. Let's head towards the sun. Let's take a look at the... Um, that. There you go. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that rock should be falling relatively soon, though. Let's pause here for a second. Let's see. Yeah, this, it's going down. It's going down. It should not be reaching. That would be devastating as well. Diplomatic insult by the Garion. We are not at war, so they, they did listen. They did listen. This is rather a scary uh, scary thing. No, actually, well, it's getting really close. Is it actually en route towards... It is en route to the planet, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, you. Oh my god, no. Oh man, what a sad day. The recent death of the noted leader Ultimate Toby. Ultimate Toby, you 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 died without ever being in command of a ship. What a, what a horrible thing that I did. Ultimate Toby died, guys. Say so um, R.I.P. in the, in the chat, of course. Damn. Yeah, you are it. Okay, you you will go there, back there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Toby. Um, yeah, you you you're lost. Uh, it's it's. It's painful to me as well. Uh, I've known you for such a short time. 
and especially since you were never in a fleet, I I, I don't know how you um, were as a as a leader, but I'm sure you were great. I'm sure you were. <laughs> oh man, this is not a funny matter. I'm actually quite sad. Uh, could you, can you imagine that I'm sad because I I, I now have named named officers who might die. <laughs> oh damn. I don't like that. Uh, let's upgrade you some more. Oh, look at that. We got a lot of things going on. So I'm actually um, quite... I'm, I'm awaiting the... Um... Yeah, let's, let's go for some food here. I'm awaiting the Vulcans, guys. Uh, that's what I'm waiting for. To, for the Vulcans to... Um, integrate. And it should not be too long. Um... Since it's December already, I'm just saying so. I'm not sure if it's in January that this happens, but actually it does. <laughs> a mandate is unfulfilled and the, the governor is going to be fired. I would like to say... Hmm, deep mining network. Let's do some uh, weak tech. All of this is being done. Uh, let's send the fleet upgraded, but back towards the soul system. Uh, one point, uh, two point nine, not bad. My family uh, is my hearth and castle. Oh, I'm so happy that to see that uh, uh, Horrodrock is still doing the voice of the uh, Kardashians. So, a hundred and two, my friends, we are here today to welcome the Vulcans into the Federation, making it possible for us to actually have the Federation as it was meant to be. Now, before I on pause here, we are going to be looking into the planets. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for this time. Because all of these guys are going to be quite annoyed. Especially the leaders. And apparently they do enjoy having Division Headquarters. A lot more than I do. I wonder how this will go. They really enjoy Division Headquarters. So, I yeah, I I'm not sure how it will go. Not sure. At least we were able to not get into a war with the Sonic Command, who are now still the equivalent. They still don't like us, but that's their problem and not mine. Thank you for watching, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. Leave me, uh, leave me comments. Leave me every everything. Subscribe if you haven't already, and smash that like button. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.